I woke up pretty sore this morning. It's day three. We had a half day Monday all day yesterday, and I think we 100% overdid it. Drew's worried about that, but I'm kind of like a stubborn boy, so I wanted to push through because I wanted to get the work done, but there's like a point where you gotta know when there's too much, especially in thinking about the stuff that's happened with my form. I told you at the end of yesterday's video that we turned off the camera and just like played six holes, and um, we're gonna lean into that a little bit more today where those during those six holes, I just like, was feeling and throwing and things were coming out well. Today, I think is gonna have to be a slower day. We'll talk to Drew in a second, but I think it's gonna start turning into more like fine tuning of things that need to happen instead of just go, 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 change, change, change. We're gonna go and actually play Fountain Hills Disc Golf Course, which I'm excited and nervous for. That's all gonna be at his channel. That way I can like put the camera away and just like feel. Because feel is such an important concept that I didn't really understand before. I was thinking, oh, just watch your form back and then you can try to make changes. But you need to feel the change happen one, two, three times. Feel the disc come out of your hand differently or feel your body move differently. And then lean into that feeling and do it again, and do it again, and do it again. Because your body learns by feeling, not by watching. Which is something that I think Drew's had to instill in me over this last little bit of like, hey, you don't need to film everything, you just need to feel it. And when I was doing that, I was doing things right. Whereas when I was thinking about, oh, I'm gonna be able to look at this back on camera, I didn't think about feeling the right things. And so I reverted to just the way that my body is throwing 10,000 discs. And then we have today, all tomorrow, and then an early Friday. I don't know if I'm gonna throw a disc over 500 feet this week. And I'm like, I think I'm becoming more okay with that, that the fact that that might not be a reality. And like, what's good about that is I do feel like when I'm throwing, I'm not throwing as fast as my body can move. And the disc is still going far. Like I'm still throwing the disc as far, if not farther than I have. I'm building the groundwork so that I can do speed work and increase the speed that I go through the positions and the timing. My body can only go so fast as I'm learning something, which is what I'm learning. So we'll chat with Drew. Definitely a little bit nervous. Just finishing up doing your drugs for the morning? Yeah. Yesterday felt a little like a setback for a lot of the day. Yeah. I mean, I felt like until we put the camera away yesterday that there was a setback. And I felt like we had went backwards, but that's part of the learning curve also. You're going to have to kind of go a little backwards sometimes. Or you threw 470. Then in the afternoon, I was begging you to throw 400. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Fountain Hills, baby. It's like brown instead of green. Any of your thoughts for what I need to be doing for this round? Uh, throwing it good. Okay. Not losing your discs. Also good. And uh, just focusing on what we were working on. We were playing yesterday. Focus on the feel. Yeah. And like when we were playing yesterday, you were throwing it like so good. Yeah. Like you, you guys will never see that, but. Uh, <laughs> You'll see it on your channel right now, hopefully. Yeah, right now. The feel is what I think we need to chase here. Yeah, I understood that for the first time last night when we like put it away and I was just like throwing. I like got like what you meant by going after yeah. the feel. I might like start tinkering a little bit with my off arm while still like making sure everything else to feel is good inside. Yeah. I don't, well, how, I don't, how was it yeah, last night? When I we mean, playing? I think that like we were talking about, like the tolerance yeah. is there. Like it okay. wasn't perfect, but I think that like your tolerance of where it could and should be, it was like, Fine in terms of like the result we were getting is yeah. like you're throwing it like perfect. Cool. Let's roll. Today's been a bit interesting. Probably one of the funniest things that I've ever done with a disc happened today. Oh my gosh. That was really bad. Just go watch the intro of his video and you'll be able to see that. But really good for like the first two thirds of the round. And then I threw one of his discs into the water and couldn't get it. And so that rattled me mentally. And then I was wet and cranky. So that wasn't good. But we're kind of taking that out of the mind and like focusing on the first 12 holes, which are good. I like can't throw past 60 or 70%. And like that's an okay thing because my body's still getting used to this motion. And I'm throwing the disc as far as I was on these holes. I don't know if by the end of this week we'll be able to speed that up much, but it's more so just getting reps in here so that I can do the speed work over the rest of this off season. It took some time to just rest today because the shoulder definitely, like I said, woke up feeling a little sore. I mean, I've only thrown 30 shots today so far and now we're headed out here and we'll probably throw another 50 or 60 before sunset. Try to work a little on off arm stuff, but just continuing to practice getting the hips engaged. Today, like you said, was a, a little bit of a setback in terms of like the progress we had been making the first two days. You know, we were moving at a pretty good pace. Yeah. Um, but also it wasn't like if you take that first, you know, three fourths of the round, you know, I think there's a lot of benefits there. And I just obviously edited my video and watched it back as I was editing it. And you threw a lot of like really, really good shots and shots at like a distance that like you're parking an Envy on a 330 foot hole, like on a hyzer. I think we're still on the right path. I don't think you getting in the water and then being flustered and then being yeah. wet. Like I was telling 
Anthony at lunch. I was like, no one's ever gotten in a pond and then played better afterwards. I mean, at one point, you were like one stroke behind me and I was like playing really good. We're in a really good, you know, you planned on doing this speed training off season anyways mm -hmm. without my help. Yeah. So I mean, we're, we're ahead of schedule. You're ahead of where you would be by yourself. By far. You're ahead of where you would be with probably someone else's help. You're going to have to go home and still grind the same way that you had already playing to grind you know this wasn't a cheat code it was just a little bit of a fast forward i'm happy with where you're at i think that you're a little hard on yourself i mean i think that that's something that we we need to like work yeah. on is your expectations for things yeah. when you're like just trying them go watch my videos and make fun of my edits and then go watch this guy's video <laughs> but like i don't get behind the computer and expect to like edit like him if he gave me four tips yeah you know like, that's not how like learning works like it took him probably thousands of hours to edit at the level he edits for you guys and i just finished a video in 28 minutes. <laughs> oh, so it's just different. So yeah. I'm trying to explain to him, like, to think about disc golf and this form thing as his editing or his anything else he's great at because he didn't learn it overnight. And so you're not going to learn disc golf form to be better or even excel overnight. I don't want him out here throwing when he's at 50%. Yeah. Because you're mentally not there. You're physically not going to do any of the right things. And now we're just like trying to do good habits, but we're also doing old bad habits. As much as he feels like it's like he's being held back a little bit, like there is something to like trying to learn something new and actually being fresh minded and have a body that works and listens and isn't just dead tired. Maybe tomorrow we'll get out to play Vista yeah. or something like that and film a vlog there or film something there or leave the camera at home. I think even just changing my relationship with the camera, instead of it being the tool that I use to help fix my form, it's instead now like documenting the experience of how I'm feeling about my well, yeah, form. It's, the, it's your feel to them, you know, to the fans. It's yeah. not your, your feel to like your body. Yeah. Your body is your body and you're, they are just like the outlet that you're sharing it to. Totally. Remember when I was arguing with you that I wouldn't buy these? Yeah, 100%. I remember you've argued with me a lot of things about content stuff and I've argued with a lot of things about form stuff. So <laughs> we're pretty good at doing that. I like the feel of that. It's just very low to high yeah. instead of straight. And so it's getting that momentum straight. That's the best disc in your bag. Yeah. Maybe, maybe the interval. Well, that was not in the bag yet. I'm gonna start like actively thinking a little bit more about my off arm stuff. Okay. Cause they're, I think they're, they're feeling pretty good. I think they look at, and like I said, I think that like the two times I think you've been the most discouraged one of them, you were like overworked, and then the other one, you were like literally soaking wet. Like, yeah. I think that in, in reality, you're in like a really good place. That was really good. I was thinking about that McBeth arm. Like that's like the shot you throw in hole one. Yeah. Like never got flat, but just like 400 feet on a high loop. Yeah, dude, let's go home. No, I'm kidding, but these are looking like really yeah. good. And, but this is like what I want you to feel like. Yeah. I feel like you're just not overthinking. Like I'm before, not, no. you were like so like yeah. frantic. Like and I just want you. And to I like, think I'm thinking about one specific swing thought instead of a bunch because I feel like without thinking anymore, my hips are kind of doing most of the right things, and now my only swing thought is off arm. Yeah. And like I'm able to start working on that because everything I must else. I'm standing in a freaking ant hill. Because everything else, it's not like second nature yet, but it's feeling significantly better. Interval time. That is so good, Anthony. That is so freaking good. Yeah. That's the farthest you've thrown. I think so. That one feels good. That was way past that tree. And that tree to the truck was like 515. <laughs> All right, you guys. If you're ever having lunch with Anthony and he's having a midlife crisis, <laughs> just let him have it and he's going to come back stronger I told, at the that's, end. that's how I process emotions. I let him happen and then I stop. That's like... Dude. Okay. So also, yeah. if you're with Anthony, never let him go swimming and then try to play disc golf. <laughs> Never let me throw your really nice Paige Pierce signed buzz <laughs> at Fountain Hills in a crosswind that I forget to read the wind on and you're winning. That was literally in Paige's bag. And I literally was like, hey, I need a buzz. And she like heard me asking. Yeah. And she's like, I'll give you this one if you actually throw it. Cause it was like her, right when yeah. the signature ones came out. And I was like, yeah, I needed it. And I was like, yeah, I'll yeah. throw it. And then you're like, can I have a one I could use? And I was like, yeah. And now it's in the middle of the lake. I'm gonna try a little bit more of a run up and see if I can still okay. keep my weight transferred yeah. well. Oh yeah. I I think you're a little far forward. That's why it kind of came up. Like, yeah. Like I think we've kind of noticed with you, like the harder you try right mm -hmm. now, the more you kind of see that like flight. Yeah. So I think you're at the point where it's feeling good, Yeah. but where you're kind of going like this because uh -huh. you get forward. Yeah. And then so it creates that like 
swoopy, air, yeah. air bouncy flight. So that was still a good shot, but like so try those other ones you're about... throwing were like piercing the whole way. Yeah. Like nose down, as you would say. Yeah. But like that was obviously like going as a riser. So this one we could think of, so maybe as I do that, think about, like really think about low to high. Yeah, and think about just like where I would be. Ripping it. Or even like, Almost like Colton Montgomery, yeah. where he would be. Because if I think about that, I'm not. I'm not saying doing you're it. never gonna get there. Yeah, exactly. It's just a feel, but like yeah. think about that, and then you're gonna end up like in a really good spot. Yeah. There we go. That's good. Yeah. The thing is, I don't know if any of these are actually going farther than the ones I'm not actually running up on. I mean, but the thing is, is you want to speed it up. Yeah. So it's good that we. And it's hard to compare when you're like throwing. A Terra, then a Tesla, then yeah. a Motion. Grab What I was trying to like describe to you at lunch is like, hey, like, I know we're having a small meltdown, but like 48 minutes ago, <laughs> you were like bouncing off the walls. How happy you were about it. Yeah. I mean, the spread is really good yeah. too. Like, yeah. they're, they're in the right distance slots right now. 460? I think it's like 430. It's 460 to the bush. Uh, like 430. Yeah. Which I'm happy. I mean, it's the end of the day. That felt wide. There we go. Yeah. Oh yeah. That was good. That's what I want you to like us to focus on tomorrow. Cause like every disc, like now that you've thrown them all a few times and kind of what they do, like I want you to throw every one for what it is. Yeah. Because I feel like sometimes you're throwing like the discs on like a hyzer that are never gonna flip up. Only like a couple out of this whole set, you're actually throwing like getting it to fly. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't care where they're going. Yeah. I just like this look better. I can see you getting tired. There we go. On the course too, like even here, I, I think you're throwing further today on the first few holes than you were out here. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm more tired at the end of the day yeah. than the beginning, so. But I'm just saying like in general, I feel like on the course you were like almost more comfortable because you weren't thinking about anything. Yeah. And you were just like trying to not throw your disc in the water. There we go. Yeah, because I bend, but I bend from a straight leg yeah. instead of a yeah, you gotta like get in that position of like, yeah. where like you. you I honestly think I'm gonna start instead. I start here. I might start my run up here. Well, have you seen James Proctor lately? He gets there, and then he yeah. like kind of like bends his. I didn't turn that one at all. Yeah, which is fine. Yeah, we're working on but like that. That the feel that James does is yeah. kind of like what I want you to like knees over the toes, like braced and like ready to go. Oh, that had some speed. Yeah, that was 10 feet off the ground, just yep. roping. Yeah. yeah, that's what we want right there. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe that, that's just something we need to like wake up tomorrow and keep in our head is that. I almost saw James Conrad walks. We kind of needed you to feel that motion, I think. Part of it is like, I've kind of been letting you Explore on your own. We need to stay under the things that are actually gonna like get you distance. Yeah. Not like an aesthetic. Because that off arm really, when you were having it down here, yeah, isn't gonna cost you any distance. Yeah, so when you threw that mid-range 370. Yeah, the last two that I did the Conrad thing are both past the bag. Yeah. I like I use sometimes like a rest counter in the gym. I need like a rest counter in my field work. Yeah. Ripping, 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 yeah. and form deteriorates after five shots or two oh, shots. Oh, and it's like, yeah, you're you're tired. Yes. I just feel like that has speed. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like it's going forward. That was nicely touched. Yeah, I think that might have got to the tree. Knees over toes. Oh, there we go. You're either going too low to high, which probably isn't it, or you're going high to low, which is, again, making your, like, it bounce. That was really good for Heiser. It's saying 455 to the tree, so probably about 460 yeah. to the disc. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, especially for, literally, it's dark outside. That means it's the end of the day. Yeah. That's a good way to leave, too. I might throw a bit in the garage yeah. after everything is done. I'm like less and less confident ever, like right now, that I'm gonna throw 500 feet before I leave. Yeah, I don't think we're doing it. But I think it'll be a good place to be. Yeah, I mean, if you're throwing, if we get that to be like your consistent shot, yeah. and now you're consistently doing 450, 460, and then now you're 
obviously, I mean, just in your follow through alone, we've made a vast improvement. Yeah. So. Choo choo. All right, so we're gonna throw. I don't know if 500 is gonna happen this week, which is ultimately fine because it wasn't supposed to happen until next year. But like, you get this opportunity, you wanna make the most of it. And I think that we are. My shoulder luckily is feeling less sore after that session. It was a surprisingly good session. I threw one 460-ish. But I think the main thing that we're focusing on here is like sitting back on the hips and like getting back into like kind of this position where the knees are over the toes in athletic stance, like kind of ready. Like ready here to engage the hips instead of, the way that even like when I've been like modeling it, I've been like here and my weight is like sat a little bit more towards my back instead of over everything and like br bracing my core. So I'm not gonna throw too much tonight, but like on and off, I still have to finish editing a video. Finally, I'm getting the first one of this up on Wednesday. I'm not gonna record on my phone until I have a good swing thought that I feel like is working. Then I'm gonna record for confirmation, but I'm gonna do it based on feel and then record it. I'm probably not gonna talk to you very much, but if I get a breakthrough, you'll see it. Just trying to make sure that I am getting solid work done. Interesting, one more, one more. Okay, let's look at this. I'll show what I'm looking at here. Whoa. Okay, that's kind of the, the hip flip that you want. But that one I think went into the air. So if I have that kind of movement with it going forward, I think, I, I think that might be kind of what I want. Let's see, this is when I started thinking about it going forward as well. Still might be a little early. <laughs> that one went forward. Board on my toes, lean back, because I don't actually lean back, but I'm over on my toes, and so when I do that, I come through and my hips flip. <clears throat> Interesting. I like that, I think, I think. We'll see if Drew likes that, but. Okay, I think, I think we're getting somewhere. So what I've started thinking about is like leaning back mm -hmm. because I don't actually yeah. freaking lean back at all. And I think That's it was- so much better. Yeah, well, I wanna show you what I have in a second too. So this is just leaning back and I was like, I still think I need to be over the balls of my feet a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And then this is what those two put together look like. I think it looks better, but I'm interested to hear your thoughts on it. Yeah, I mean, look at your feet alone. Yeah. Like they're now at least going like somewhat. And the knees are kind of going towards one another, which is yeah. good. Yeah, and you're like, you're, look at your knees are way over your toes. Yeah. Which is what we want. Little slidey. Yeah. Like that back leg really goes like, I mean, obviously if you're in that position, your hips, this left hip didn't clear. Otherwise it, you couldn't be back there. Uh huh. So that's the only thing I would say. Look at the next one. There's one more. That's better. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this, I like this. And like, and, again, that head, uh -huh. bam, following it through, a little above the elbow, but like, uh -huh. we can live with, like, that's not going to be a detriment. And then right there, it's below, uh -huh. which is perfect. Yeah. Your hips could be a little more cleared, uh -huh. but like, that is, and even like, look at your head is like, so in the middle. Yeah. And you're, you could see your weight just like transfer there. Uh-huh. Like you can tell that that like, boom, to the back foot to front foot. You think I'm leaning back too much, Drew? No. <laughs> no I think that's really I don't good. think I am leaning back at all. Yeah. I don't think I could if I tried like you said. I think that that's like, and like look at right there, your shoulders and your hips mm -hmm. are like, literally look like they're connected. Yeah, they're not pitched. Yeah, like that's like perfect. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I and think your elbow is, is like the leading elbow... the way, mm -hmm. you know? The only thing I would say is this left leg, instead of going back there first, uh -huh. like coming more like there first. Coming there first, okay. Yeah, like instead of it like going super. Can I see you, you do it? Like my, my leg is like never really. So your leg more comes up than behind your back Yeah, leg. like it never goes more like back than okay. that. You know, like it goes up off the ground and then 
Mm -hmm. like yours is like wrapping around where yes. you could still see the gap in mine yes so like what you're doing is fine but like i want it to be more like coming that like you see where i end up like yeah following through forward yeah kind of getting stuck in like this position you can literally see a gap like in between my legs like the whole way punchy forward instead yeah. of backwards but like that overall throw is like much more powerful. I think that that, what you're working on now, is yeah. like a hundred times better than like what we have been kind of like feeling. Cause like that is like a really good like feel and throw. And now if the only thing we have to really worry about is our, that arm being a little in the way then like. Yeah, I think that arm and then my, my, my throw arm is also shouldn't be, it shouldn't open up like it It should does. be a little more internal. Yeah. Those seem like last pieces that can be worked out, and so. Yeah, and, and again, you plan to already like do this whole yeah, process. Yeah, one hundred percent. So really, are you gonna go back out there? I'm gonna be I'm gonna be in and out between editing and throwing, so I have enough breaks. Here's a good video too, actually. It's like pretty close to me. So like here, arm that clears. Yeah. That gap, and then. You know, as I'm like, my body is rotating. Yeah. I'm like getting out of my own way. Then this leg just like sweet, sweet, pretty bored. Yeah. I think a part of the reason why I throw fast, which is just a bad habit, is like I'm like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna forget, and the time it takes me to rest, which is so dumb. Yes. Feet are still in a good position. Yeah. Reach back again. A little Could be better, more. but that's not. I mean, I'm. Yeah. I gotta not, work on one thing at yeah. one thing at a time. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're okay. <laughs> Sweating all over you. Look, uh, way, out of, way out of the way, never in the way. Yeah. So like, that's what I'm telling you, like that to like the and side that of your- position is way better. Way better. And your head position is flat. Yeah. And now your, your, it doesn't seem like your leg is no longer like going into your other leg. Like, no. Like you could see that gap now that I was talking about. Yeah. The whole way. I still think that they're firing later than, like my leg should be- Yeah, your, your yeah. upper body is ahead of your shoulders. Yeah. Like your shoulders here are facing us and your like pelvis is facing like the back of the garage. Yes. But again, like this, we need to like take this and mm -hmm. like put it next to like the form when you shoot up here yeah. and like scrub them together. But like that is just so much more, like before I feel like you would be like almost falling through into the net. Mm -hmm. You know, like with, you, can the, see. with the space that you, see <laughs> whoa, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> yeah. And this is when I was working on my off room too. So just so different. Wow. Like. And like, look at your, like, <laughs> this, the, this position here yeah. is like 140 times better. Yeah. And it's also consistent. Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't think I've thrown a shot today or maybe like one or two that's not like, where we want it to be now. Like that's where yeah. we were at. Two days ago. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to take a break and edit. All right. So my video got edited and I was talking with Drew over dinner about what seems to be like a real big problem. And he's honestly was saying that like he'd exhausted all of his like thoughts. So we're going to have to brainstorm together. But my... Lower body looks good. My upper body doesn't look great, but my timing between them is not it. My upper body started to look better as I've been working on this off-arm stuff these last sessions tonight, but it's still going so far ahead of my lower body. My thought is if we look at my swing versus Drew's swing, when he gets to this position, he's like here, like kind of up with the disc at his chest. And then as he strides, he gets to the point and like, if I'm striding to the position I want to stride at, I don't even get fully locked out of my elbow. And so I can stay internally rotated. And so when everything else starts to come in, it can snap it out because I'm not pulling anymore. So it's still going and it can stop. The hips can pull it and I can throw. I get to the point where the step before the X step is here. And then I turn into that X step instead of having it be forward. I'm gonna try that a couple times. Try to feel which is firing first. It definitely feels hippy. Interesting, interesting, interesting. As with all this, we gotta make sure to not overstart. Like, just trying to keep the disc. This is actually something that Gannon was telling earlier. He was telling me, hey, keep the disc close to your chest, because I was texting him and like I started out here. And he was saying that like Eagle does it, Old Simon, or Simon still does it, um, Jacob Curtis, all the guys who like bomb to get that little bit of extra whip and elasticity because that would make sense if you stride out and you're only here, then coming in, it's gonna give you that whip as your hips pull it through. So you whip and then instead of it just like staying there, you it whips and your hips pull it through and then you throw it. So I set that up and try. 
Okay, that one definitely felt more hippy. I think I need to think about my arm less after I hit my heel or my toe on my front foot. Yeah, I think that one, my knees need to be over my toes, yeah. That felt pretty good. I'm trying to stay lean over, knees over toes. They felt like my knees were more over my toes, which is how I'm wanting it to be. I think the upper body is still, still just getting ahead of the lower body. I'm not driving that back leg. I'm not like driving off it, it's just kind of falling out from under it. So drive the back leg. Just drive the hips, come on. That feels like driving, it's not actually driving because that front knee needs to clear. That's better, much better. Yeah, that looks much more pro. Okay, off arm, not great, who cares? Yes, big yes, big yes. I'm gonna ask him about that one. So, first two that we're gonna look at, and then the last one is the real good one, because I also focus on hey. my off arm. And I'm really, oh, hey. yeah! Good call. Thank you. Look at this big boy. I mean, it's a good big boy, but it's a big boy. So I'm really thinking about here, trying to somehow get the hips engaged first, or even just flip them fully. Or at least a better job than it has been. Yeah. I like that. Let's watch this last one. Yeah. And that first one, your arm, your like off arm was like back in the way again. Hundred percent. Yeah. And that's and I I felt that. Okay. I didn't watch these. I felt that, and then I corrected for this third one. I feel because I feel like my hips are starting maybe maybe first, or at least in line. But yeah, uh, look at that. Look at where your yeah your hips are now ahead of your shoulder. Which is the whole point of like yeah how you sling it out. Yeah. Now look at that position. Like that is like a position you've never been in. Yes. I don't have in, the knee too far yeah, forward. Yeah. yeah. It's so, driving ahead of yeah. me and I finished 90 degrees off. Yeah. And you're still like on the T. Yes. You know, if there is a T there. So yeah, I mean, that's, does it feel strong? Yes. Very like strong. It feels, I didn't even really realize you were out there. Oh, you're good. Uh, I just, my video is exporting. So I was like, that's really good. Yeah. I see. That's really good. But I don't know why. Look at what happens in the next four frames. I don't know why that happens yeah, every time. Oh, because you're pulling. I still am. Well, you have to be, because look, think about it. As you're like, yeah, it has your hands want to be. sit like this. You know, like they, they yeah. want to be like this. So if you're pulling it, it's going to twist it this way. Yeah, I need to figure out a way to stop pulling. Yeah, but. But it's, again, it's that, significantly better there, like, though. Again, at the end of the day, like, to keep this in perspective for you guys, and he's like a fast worker, even like his editing and everything. But like, this is the type of thing that, like, you're gonna, we're gonna watch this. This is gonna be like a, three years down the road, and we're gonna be like, oh, you could change this. Like, yeah. you know, someone could nitpick my form if they like wanted to. This is like, also our like 80 of us working on this. Like, since I've gotten here, not like hours worked on it, but like yeah. I've got here 80 hours ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, we're, yeah. you're like way ahead of schedule. Like, yes. tomorrow and Friday, like, if this is what you bring to the field or the course, like, yeah. that I think 500 is back on the table. Mm -hmm.